Okay. Am I still sharing? You still see my screen? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right. All right. So six scale, this is uh, 414. Let me put the link into the chat. Probably just going to be us, Marcelo. All right. So, um, all right. So it's about a few weeks, but about um, four, four, five weeks or so. So, um, uh, I haven't, uh, so probably the only update I have, or the only uh, few things I want to do is I, I want to go through, because we haven't looked at the periodic job results. I just want to sync up on that again. Let's see how, you know, if anything's changed here. I did look at this earlier just to kind of get an idea. Everything seemed okay. Um, we're still roughly in the same amount of time for these that we're spending in phases and the number of updates uh, or number of, uh, API calls look roughly the same. Yeah. Patch, we expected threshold to 215 and yeah, pretty good. Can you, can you so check also the performance cluster? Yep, I was gonna go to that one next. Uh, okay. Pretty good, 330, 39. Yeah, well under this, still looking good there, okay. And then uh, let's see, performance cluster is uh, this one, right? Yeah. Oh, you see, I, I, I saw that it was missing the numbers. Okay, what is that? Oh, this is, oh, one of the, uh, one of my patches must have merged then. Oh, okay. Yeah. When did that it makes merge? Sense. Because I was looking at the dashboard and then was missing some data and then I just wasn't understand but I didn't check this, the, the test grid. Okay. So it was about a week or two ago, one of them merged. Okay, I haven't caught up on this yet, but I wanted to, I was gonna, do, I wanted to go through them now. Okay, so like then that's what this is. It's just, um, it's missing, um, let's see, I think I'm missing the one, no, oh, that's not it. I'm yeah, it, it, probably it's the test. So it's update the the load generator, but it didn't update the the protest probably. Yeah. Oh, so I I'm just put here this link. It's no, it's I think it's fine. So we just need to make sure that we fix that. Yeah, because it's was missing some data. Can yeah, you, this is the one. Okay, so this is just the one that needs to be okay. So I need to just come back to this one. Looks like okay, this uh, this is the one that there. it's missing. Yeah, this is the patch we're missing. I just need to do some retests here. All right, cool. Yeah, I probably need to rebase this too. Unfortunately, I cannot approve things. Um, I, yeah, I did let me the get the GTM. Okay, but... let me get, I'll have to get David or Roman to just take a quick look at ACKET. Mm -hmm. um, but that, yeah, that's what we need. That's what's missing for, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's see. So, how are we? So that was the, so I think then is all, are they all gonna network? So let me see. So what's the density test? Is this the other one? Yeah, same thing. Okay. So it's, it's the same. It's gonna be, what's it looking for? Uh, probably yeah, is the, the file first 200. Is missing. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm good that this, uh, okay. I'm glad that merged so that, um, um, and it looks like everything from the syntax perspective is working as expected. We're just missing that um, that one patch. So, okay, mm -hmm. that's encouraging. So we're halfway there. Cool, okay. Yeah. Good. And then- um, So this link that I put- Look at this. This okay. is the performance dashboard of the, the dashboard of the performance cluster. 
the one that I, I told you that I was checking. Gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, so I the, see. <laughs> yeah, it started to miss the data. I thought it was, yeah, I didn't investigate too much. I was, you know, doing something else, but I saw this and I was worried about so, but now we know what's happened. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Yeah. The, the thing is, do you see that there is like some um, big variation in the previous test? Yeah. The VM, you know. Yeah, maybe if we put like we do like a little of they are not all the same test, but some of them are the same test, you know, because we have this test creating 100 and the other test that range from 200, 400, 600, I think. And but even though we see some, uh, uh, you know, big, uh, some big variations, yeah. So 90th percentile, 9.44 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we should put the median also here, you know, the dashboard. But anyway, the ninth percentile, you see this one in the in the March 20. Yes, March 20 was nine minutes, the worst case, and then it drops to five minutes. Maybe it's something with the cluster, isn't it? Um, you know, like uh, the, the, the cluster was busy, something happened to this node, but it's a bare metal node. It shouldn't have any difference. So in this, the next- So when I look at this, um, okay, so we've got, when I look at this, so is this is this like additive? Like this is how much time was spent in scheduled phase? Yes. It's fairly large. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we saw um we see this as well. I actually have another a good illustration of it. Um here. Transitioning okay. from scheduling to actually it's scheduling phase is what we see. Well, actually, no, it is scheduled as well, but it's um we this is one pattern we do see with um like yeah so you can see like the the dark blues like you can see the large um uh large amount of times there uh spent there the increase, light blue is the scheduling which is increase an a little one. bit oh sure yeah okay. this um well i i have a different point i want to make about this but one of the things that we see internally when we look at our clusters and their performance when this light blue starts to increase is when we run into problems. It's actually, this is when we see Kubernetes actually running up into issues with performance as when we see this light blue. I can't really say about the dark blue. Um, I think it's a mix. We actually haven't, I, I mean, that's kind of a mix based on what it does, but I haven't done full analysis on the dark blue side, like, like what the makeup of it is. I've done a ton on the light blue. And this is almost exclusively Kubernetes. So like on this, on yours, um, light blue, yeah, you have the same. Looks like your, what's, how does the, um, hold on, I wanna see the, uh, oh, I can't. Um, Inspect. What's the, does it show uh, like what, how you, no, no. Probably no, need okay. to go to JSON, yeah. So this is, um, what about, do you don't have pending in here? Yeah, so for, some, cool? for some reason, uh, the pending doesn't appear to me. So, so this I is, so this would be, if I interpret this correctly, this is the time it takes from pending um, or from scheduling to scheduled, right? So this is scheduling time, or is this time from pending to scheduling? It's from creation to scheduling, from creation to scheduling. scheduled, and from creation to running. That's it. Oh. Uh, this is the metric that uh, you know David create. Yeah, yeah, but you're using you're using um, creation to so using the creation timestamp to the scheduled timestamp, right? Okay, that's interesting. And then you put them together. I see. So, okay, so the difference between 
these two lines is the time in um, that we spent in scheduling though, I think. Cause it's the time we train. Yeah, so this is, I think it's the reason why you don't see the pending is cause this is, I think the light blue is your pending. I think your green is actually scheduling, like time spent in scheduling. And this is your- What, what do you mean? Because I just get this from the metric. So, you know, the this you know vm creation phase metric that you know david created in hoover and yeah. this and he has like the calculates the delta you know between the creation to when the vm when the phase change so when it's a scheduling it means the vm um i well i don't remember now maybe exit from this i don't remember now also yeah, it's good to check. Yeah, but um, yeah, you, yeah, I would. We should double check this because um, I, I think I, I just kind of have a feeling that this. I'm wondering if this is actually um, this time here is actually is is actually this the same as this light blue. That's what I'm wondering. I don't know. I kind of want to see the um, yeah, what you have on the because you said from time the the creation timestamp to like because if you do the creation timestamp to the, the scheduled transition that would be because the, the the phase transition timestamp from scheduled right is like the moment we transitioned into scheduled right yes. so all the time beforehand would be pen would be creation pending scheduling would be this yellow exactly when it's scheduling yeah when, okay. it, when it, this is the phase transition yes Yes, yeah, so but then sched this blue line, the top of the blue line to the top of the yellow will be the time you spent in scheduling phase. Yeah, it's not a stack. So actually it is, they're just over under each other. So. Interesting. Okay. But I think you can see this metric. So if you go to the inspect in the JSON, Um, okay, you see VM creation time. You can see, yeah, in the bottom. Keep going down. Yeah, if you go down. Oh, yeah, go. The, okay. Yeah. You see, it's the Kubert VMI phase transition time from creation. Oh, I, I just remove failed and succeed. So just to have the creation. Okay, I forget what now what, what the metric that. Yeah, but this, this is exactly the timestamp. So when it's yeah when the phase changes, so yep. from creation, yeah, from the object was created when the the object first appear the request, you know, and then the phase transitions. But uh, the pending doesn't appear for me, it never appeared, so I don't know. That's weird. Um, yeah, that is weird. Um, maybe it's because <clears throat> it's too fast, so it doesn't, doesn't have pending. Um, but where we have the scheduling, so the pending is before Kubernetes scheduled the object. So if you see pending, it means that your Kubernetes, it's it the scheduler, it's suffering. So do, probably if you see the pending, do you have this scheduling time? Did if, have you uh, if we that? see, sorry, if we see pending, do I, do I see what scheduling? The scheduling time, because there is a metric from the scheduler that is the scheduling time. It's the Kubernetes metrics, okay? It, you probably our dashboard if you don't have it might be interesting no. to check because no, what i'm no. saying here is okay i'm not sure but i think that the scheduling time it's very small here then we don't see any pending but we see the kubvert you know components uh is doing things you know some slow down here yeah i just find it weird that you don't see pending i don't know it's odd 
and it'll be uh, interesting to see what you find in the in the Prometheus data. I just yeah, I find that weird. I mean, because they definitely have the timestamps. I mean, they've got to right. Like they should they should definitely have it. So it's kind of weird. Maybe there's maybe we have a bug there or something. Um, interesting. Okay. Well, yeah, but you're right. Anyway, back to your earlier point, your first point was that, right, this is, in, we're seeing a big increase, right? Like here we're, is this okay. the, which is the 100 test and the 200 and then 600? Is it, is it one, is this like a 100 over here? No, the 100 is the tiny one between. You see the very small oh, so one. So if I zoom in, I should see it. Oh, here we go. I see. Oh, this is 200. If you go back a little bit, sorry. Um, yeah. So you, you see like uh, there is a stack here that are very small between these two big ones. Yeah, this oh. one, this is the 100. That's the 100. Yeah. And you see 49, 37, 17. Yeah, 100 is kind, kind of pretty good, isn't it? So, but when we see like more node, you know, more VMs. Yeah, but even for like for seconds, it's, it's interesting to see this. <clears throat> how many it would be it would be to really get for because like so I, I see different numbers in terms of like what like some of the things that we've measured i'm wondering about the hardware in terms of what you use because when I mean, we see milliseconds on some of these like um yeah and we don't even in the 95th percentile we see milliseconds you see what we we don't even reach seconds we like we have it in we have we take it takes less than like for pending and scheduling phases it's in milliseconds like we don't even reach this like it's less than a second it takes and you're in, in that's in the 95th percentile you're in the 90th percentile and you have almost 20 seconds that's well this is interesting but to create 100 vms uh not like at once i mean it would be like um yeah, I guess it's, it's not fair to say. I haven't done, so let me do, I'll have to do a comparison on the hardware, like, because I haven't, I haven't done the exact same test, but roughly like when, what I'm saying is that when we have, um, when we're doing our creations of, um, I don't know, we do like maybe a bunch at a time, a handful of time, it's less than a hundred, but it's, it's, it's in the milliseconds it takes for a lot of these phases. Interesting well, actually, that. milliseconds, yeah, it's very surprising. I never see milliseconds in any test that I did. So, okay. in, in the and I test in other hardware as well. Maybe the yeah. image that you are using, maybe so. If you have as you know, NVMe, you know, things can get like faster to load the image, yeah. Um, this is interesting. I mean, this is so. What's this one? This is uh, this is, 600 600 yeah exactly yeah wow that's almost 10 minutes okay we'll have to do a study on this like um more detail yeah I, I remember that you know your colleague presenting the kubrick summit he has also some machines you know taking 10 minutes i saw his it was like some very hair scenario but i saw like 10 minutes yeah we've and, come across it in some cases yeah I mean, I guess regardless though, I mean, is this what we expect though? Like, I mean, I, I guess, I mean, if we can produce it and you can produce it, I mean, that's that's good. But I mean, I wanted to be good to do some analysis as to like an eight, like what is happening that we're sitting, like scheduled phase, right? We're, what's happening in scheduled phase? We are transitioning from the VM, the VMI to the, to the vert handler. It's doing some work. We're mm -hmm. trying to define the domain like eight minutes yeah, that's the, time. the tracing part should be useful and then we saw that there is this guy that wants to work on the tracing maybe we should come up with a plan maybe give him you know because if we know someone wants to work on that it will be very helpful especially to get yeah. more attraction you know to our sure. community and yeah. you already started something with the tracing but uh, you know, we we I think maybe we can point him before going to open tracing it's kind of things, you know, to have more tracing points, analyze the logs, and 
and uh, you know, I, I don't know. We can just tell, tell him. I don't know how advanced he will make this, but we can, yeah, we can I mean, think of something. If, if yeah, definitely. Can. If we can do, if, we, if we're able to do open doors, that's great. I think that's a that's definitely, it's definitely a big effort, but if he is open to doing that work, that'd be awesome. But if not, like, yeah, we can do like the, the poor man's tracing, which is the, the tracing that I did in Burr Controller, um, mm -hmm. which we could add it to the handler. It would be interesting to see some of the cases where, you know, where we're with these VMs to see if we'd like actually hit a slow, something slow. It needs to be like a lot of research we need to do in terms of like, what are the paths that we need to look out for? Yeah, so there's still some, there's some good work I, that we need to do there. I forget about what we need to do. Okay. All right, let me go to the, the next. Um, this is something I saw really that I thought was interesting that I just wanted to mention. So <clears throat> we were seeing this in, some, in one of our data centers recently. It's a large data center. It's like over 700 nodes. And um, we would see um, periods of low churn and high VMI counts. Um, one of the VER controllers creates a ton of patch requests, like in a crazy amount. Um, did you see what what was oh it did patching? I leave the numbers out I, I don't so I I hadn't figured it out but it um it's patching like crazy but what's interesting is with this pattern is that you can see that here it's patching this green line um and there are um right it, it falls pretty quickly um and as it falls um it actually corresponds with with this this uh Grafana board that like, so you can see, um, so this uh, right here, this period um, where we have this green line, this is the equivalent of the high patch counts. And when it falls, um, so when this, this, this green line that rest client requests falls, um, the others rise So vert API, vert handler, those increase. And you can even see in the phase transition times, there's a change. So this line, the scheduling time increases. We have this, um, our signature looks like this. We have a um, high amount of requests from Vert API, controller, handler, fairly, I mean, they Did you check if it's amount. creating, just recreating VMs? It, you receive like more requests? You, because like a eight v, each VM has eight patch per VM, isn't it? Right. So maybe so during this, just during this period new where, Yeah, like during this period. So that's that. I mean, that that could be true, but it's. Um, I just find it weird. Like so, th this area. So I said, well, this is it's low churn during this area. That's that's the other part of this is that. So this these areas right here, this like um, high scheduling times represent higher churn. Uh, things just take longer in Kubernetes. That's just what happens. Um, and we are still creating VMs during this time. So that's true. But we're not creating as many VMs. Did you check the VM count? Um, yeah, during this time, it's um, it remains fairly steady, like within a few hundred. So it's not like increasing or decreasing really okay. quickly. It's remaining fairly steady. And for some reason, the the REST client request is extremely high. And this is what I found when I dug deeper is that the, it's it's just patching. The, and it's only one of the VERT controllers. It's not all of them. One of the VERT controllers was just patching away. Um, no, it's on, only one VERT controller works at, the, at a time. So other orders are for high availability. The oh, I thought it was active know, active. No, Kubernetes, it's, this is a Kubernetes, pro, so something that we were also discuss internally in IBM, but, you know, Kubernetes controllers works like that. It's only single instance by default. And it doesn't, you know, to have multiple controllers, it will need to charge, you know, the data across different controllers. It gets complicated. Yeah. 
Well, that's and so okay. They're... That's that's fine. But like, what what I what it doesn't make any sense to me is that like, why would why would there request why would there be a, why would we be patching a ton almost at it's not really idle time, but at like low um, at um, low turn at when what? when you'd expect not a lot of VMs, and then just... why would be why would we decrease the number of requests when well, we're just, suddenly just, just phase transition? Actually, it's telling the performance it's the latency not how many right. vm is being created so because what i'm what i'm thinking is okay so imagine i don't know just guessing here imagine a scenario that it you know you you need to create 1000 vms and the system you know cannot cannot cope with that because it's especially because it's busy we can see here that things are very slow but suddenly you know the requests, the client requests decrease, but you are, you are still having like a lot of pending, you know, requests in the queue. And then when the system, you know, becomes a little bit, you know, less overloaded, it can now, you know, it, it can process all these requests that are pending, you know, and then you see this burst. I don't know, just guessing, you know, something with, you had some requests pending and now you need to process it unless it, unless if you are seeing new requests because if you don't see any new requests and then it gets in higher this i'm just thinking that maybe it's something that it's on the queue you know that's now it's being processed now You know, check know. that. Maybe you can check some of the work queue metrics. You know, the the yeah. the depth, the of the queues, things like that. You know how it's behaving. Also, if you can get like uh, this uh, a number of create requests, you know, uh, the call, the rest call. You know, because you you have here, you know, aggregated. The virtual controller, virtual API, but if you can just get the, for example, create, you know, just to make, again, to make sure that maybe you see um, or delete. So just check what's happening because maybe it's deleting. That's you see a lot of, you know, this high request here. Just well, check what's well, happening. You know? Yeah, but the problem yeah, is that patch. Okay. Oh, you have it here. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is the pat. This is patch. Uh -huh. These are um, like other get. Okay. Is um, it migrating this? Yeah. No, some, it's not migrating no? it. It's okay. not doing it. And we're it's literally we're just during these periods during this whole this whole period of time we're creating and deleting during the periods that the, you can see where there's that higher scheduling time it's when we're creating. At a, and deleting at a, uh, we're creating more, we're creating a lot of pressure because there's a lot of creates and deletes. Here there's very few, so it's kind of like a, um, there are still creates and deletes going on, and as we can see, there's lines, there's data being populated. It's just strange that like, it's, there's the signature matches that there is like period when we're at a low turn. For some reason, the patch, the patch requests shoot through the roof in the virt controller and everything else is not doing any work or not much at all like it's it's still doing work just not a whole lot you know very little and it, for some reason this is doing a lot of work and then and then when we're back doing you know more work the api the vert api you can see it comes back to life quite a bit vert handler comes back to life quite a bit and then controller dies back down which is a little bizarre like I would expect the virt controller maybe to go up, right? Instead of come down. So I just find it a little weird that we're like, what is it? What are these patch requests that are, that are happening? That's what's a little bizarre. So I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. I'm, the reason I'm bringing it up is because if we, something to look out for because um, I, something to do a little more research on because I just find it, if we're using a ton of patch requests here, maybe we're like, um, you know, maybe we're just doing, maybe we're, we're updating something too often that maybe we have a code path that's constantly updating or making patches or whatever, changing BMIs 
doing something and that isn't the act that isn't activated or isn't running when we're um when we're creating a lot of vms or something i don't know it's a little weird which version are you running this is zero through five because hmm. yeah. there you know there was some you know did you remember the node node update there was like mm -hmm. some works trying to reduce you know the but it was not patching it was only get, get oh, anyway this is interesting maybe it's a bug i don't know it's yeah it's yeah. definitely something interesting we're, but, we're gonna we're actually moving to zero i'm hoping soon we'll get to maybe now maybe next in a few months we'll get to to a newer version and maybe we'll you know, can do this again i want to do this experiment as well though with the steady state job because um, I think that would get a better result. Like if I can reproduce this exactly in the steady state job, then it would be um, interesting to have you do it in your data center and see if you can get the same thing or um, mm -hmm. to see if it's something just on my end or if this yeah. is something that there's some, there's a problem somewhere. But anyway, I figured I mentioned it to keep an eye on because I just, this is counterintuitive. This does not look quite right. Well, but it's yeah, it is weird because you know sometimes you get there's a lot of patch and then it drops. Yeah. When you get load to the other components. Yeah. It's a little weird. Yeah. Okay. Well, I I'll leave it here. I can I, I don't have an I'm gonna make an issue out of it. Yet. I'm gonna do I'll do a little bit, like I said, a little bit more investigation, maybe one try to reproduce with the study state job and see if um mm -hmm. and then create an issue out of it and we can kind of we can go from there. It would be really cool if I could actually reproduce this. And if I'm able to do this, so the study state job, do we have to reproduce this in one of our um, one of our um, our jobs, the periodics? That would be really cool to see. So, mm -hmm. okay, all right. Um, and then last thing is uh, PRs. Um, we still have this open, so I I need to no just just one I just let's comment back. about this. Yeah. You know, this this one kind of test, for example, that I I I don't do, and we don't have this in the, you know, in the CI. It's a test that you create VMs and you leave there. It's what you have in your cluster, isn't it? So you have like many VMs, old VMs, you know, that's been created there, and it's yeah. there forever. And and then it's kind of the stability of the cluster. You know, then I don't know if this behavior is related to that, but it's maybe, you know, that's why we don't see because normally the test that we do, it's we create, see things and destroy everything. But, you know, your cluster has, you know, remaining VMs that stay there forever, you know, and I don't know, if, it's not forever, but for a long time. And, and then you are seeing here some, uh, you know some different behavior that we don't see yeah don't that would like... be we, we should be able to do that with like um a little bit of tweaking to the study state test right i think maybe just that would be a good one to add like um kind of another offshoot of it where we because it's really what this is it's, it's steady state but like kind of like you said where they run a little bit longer like it's like we'll um we'll let the vm maybe we'll let the vms run for a certain amount of time you know, hours instead of just minutes. Um, let's see what, see what happens. Yeah, kind of like ability test. Some, you know, some little offshoot or a little, or a little leg of, of steady state. We can even do it with the, the burst test as well. I mean, same concept, just kind of, you know, burst is going to leave them around, you know. Just burst, wait, and the burst right. again. Yeah. Right. That's what right. you have here. So, okay. Yeah. So I, I'll, I'll do some follow up and see what I can find in the, I tweak this a little more and I'll see if I get a little more data on um, mm -hmm. on the uh, on the patch request and kind of what's what's being patched because that's that wasn't really clear to me. I didn't have time to fully dig into it. So um, yeah, what I basically want to find, I'll create an issue. I don't know which cluster do you have, but you can probably enable, you know, uh, increase the log verbosity yeah. of the virtual controller, you know. And if it's like I think it's if verbosity higher than three or five, you can see the request. I'm not sure. So maybe, I don't know, you know, you can check the, how the log is implemented, but yeah. And then you can see like, uh, you know, 
more specific details. But the the, the, the API for sure, if the API, you know, the Kube API, uh, the Virt API, so, sorry, the um, Kube API, if you enable the log higher than five, you can see all the requests. So you will see what's what's kind of patch request is arriving there. Yeah. Okay. I'll I can dig around with it. I, I I haven't seen it like after I was produced this after I was I saw this this one time. I haven't really seen it since. So I think well I'll see if I can reproduce it and see what I can dig oh, it's up. Not, it's not happened that anymore. It's I, I not to this extent. Like it's uh it was happening fairly consistent consistently like in the maybe like a uh, almost like a week ago, but um I haven't seen it since. Like, or I haven't seen it in like the last few days. So I'm, uh -huh. I'm not really sure. Okay. It might be hard to, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what I can find, but um, I don't know. This was, I figured mm -hmm. I, I took a few pictures because it's a little weird. So anyway, okay. Yeah. Enough, on, mm -hmm. enough on that one. So the, uh, okay, so PRs, these are the three PRs. So we already talked about this one. Um, need uh, another plus one. Uh, same with this. I mean, I think that we've already talked about this a million times. And then I think this one yeah. merged, right? This was the one that merged. Hmm. Yeah, good, okay. Okay, cool. yeah, we definitely need to get them merged. So about the SLO document, I think that someone mentioned, you know, about this document should be in some other repository. And okay, what do, you, what do you think? Where should I go? I mean, it's kind of, what did I put it in? Like the doc section, I guess? Yeah, it was community. I think also Kubernetes has this inside the community. Yeah. So okay. if you go down the last comment. Yeah. Oh, you know, I missed Kube, this. Okay. Yeah, yeah Kubevirt community. And I also think so. I think Kubernetes SLO is also under Kubevirt community, you know, Kubevirt community, and then it has a directory of SCAG, SIG SCAG, something like that. And then yeah. inside that, it has, uh, I think it makes sense because since Kubernetes is doing that, but I, I don't know, I don't have a strong feeling of that. Maybe we can ask, you know, David and Raman about that. You know. um, sure. They are organizing. They, they are the guys that are organizing the the whole project. So yeah. Um, okay, I can do a follow up. I didn't. I'm, I'm glad you brought my attention to this. I didn't. I mm -hmm. lost this in my flurry of emails after. It's too many things. I went away for a few weeks. So okay, I'll check this out and talk to Gene and Roman. I got to talk to them anyway for these for uh for this one. So cool. Okay. All right. Um. I don't think we have anything else. I think for next for next time, we'll see if we can um, grab, um, uh, what's his name? Is it, uh, um, is it Kim uh, from, I only know his IRC name. Is it Jay Kim? You mean the, from the, the Slack channel, the, the guy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we need to follow up with him before yeah, we, lose, we lose his interest, so. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like, the time zone is going to be a problem. So maybe we need to do like a email thread or something just to get like his, just understand. And then maybe if he can do some, if he wants to do some design and see kind of the greatest thoughts. Um, yeah, we, maybe we can point we can. him, you know, if we point him some Kubernetes code, you know, to just show, to show how Kubernetes is implementing the, the tracing, you know. And uh, and ask him, can you prepare, you know, some some uh, design ideas? How? Because I, actually, I think he was asking how to. I don't remember now how to propagate the context, isn't it? Uh, I don't remember now his questions, and we, we yeah, we definitely need to check it again, and and see if. If 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 it might be possible to help him with ideas, and I don't know how how is he willing to care that. But. Yeah, he so he he liked the comment that I put, which is that like we have a 
post his comments in sig scale and and then we can follow up with him on slack so maybe um like maybe i can tag him on here and um and we can just uh start the conversation that way i always it starts like y j k i don't know his email do you know no, any yeah. information does he have another I don't thing know. no he doesn't okay yeah, let me follow up with him. I'll just message him and get his email and we can, or maybe we'll just start with Slack, I guess. That might be easier because I don't actually know how to get in touch and do this. And then we can link him a document and maybe he can follow up in here. Yeah, um, he mentioned that he doesn't want to talk personally because of English you know, constraints, but we can definitely yeah, we'll go, we can, try we can to go with Slack. message. Yeah, we'll, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll start with Slack and just to see what, like, um, you get his interest on in mm -hmm. things and for, for tracing. Okay, cool. All right, guys. I think that's all I have. Thanks for attending. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.